Wow. I've been waiting this battle for a while. Whose team are you on? Joffrey, Tyrion? <laughs> That's a true question, right? Yes. <laughs> Just based on my reaction. Based on your reaction, yeah. Tyrion, because I feel there's a big part of him that wants to... And it reminds me of the time when him and Jon Snow were sitting and they were heading to the wall. And he was talking to Jon and he says, Oh, I know how you feel because you're a bastard, but I'm short and people judge me. And he's trying to do... To change the way people judge people and do things kind of somewhat in a... But he's surrounded by all these Lannisters that are <laughs> crooked. So yeah. I really feel there's a part of him in there. So it was really good to see him, especially that speech he did, you know, pump the guys up. Yeah, yeah. It was like, that's their last hope. So, yeah. uh, and that's why I was rooting for him because it's like, Joffrey's like, what do I do? Where's my mom? You know, <laughs> what did she it's say? It's out of character. Yeah. We know yeah, from the yeah. beginning that Joffrey is... <sighs> Is a chicken, right? Um, I'm torn, though. <laughs> At the same time, I'm definitely on Tyrion's side, but, you know, I feel bad for Stannis, too. Uh, he is, like, the rightful ruler and stuff, but I think Tyrion has more of the honorability. Mm -hmm. Well, not honorability. Well, I guess I will say that because Stannis has done some shady stuff with the Red Priestess, right? Mm -hmm. But... I still want Stannis to kind of take over that keep to get rid of Joffrey. Yeah, you can tell I'm Team Stannis. I'm rooting him all the way. I know Tyrion's on the other side. I think Tyrion can survive, even yeah. Stannis sacked the city. Uh, yeah, it really tore me at the end when Tywin came. And Loras, it's, uh, you know, when Stannis' men start pulling him back, hey, we got to retreat. I'm like, dang, he's so close. He's in the city, right? He's yeah. on top of the tower. And I'm like, damn it. Because I think Stannis is very honorable. In the previous mm -hmm. episode, he was talking to Davos. Stannis was saying that, you know, Robert told me to keep Storm's End, and he did. He held it, and he did what his brother said. But now, his brother's gone. He believes that's, this is his right, and he's fighting for it, right? And you see how hard he won it. Yeah. Um, he's first man. Yeah. And that's how my relationship with my brother, I felt like sometimes, you know, when my brother said something, you know, I'm like, oh, I trust my brother, I love him, I'll listen to him, right? It's very understanding. And it's sad to really see him, you know, uh, lost at the end. When they were attacking, right, and they make it to land, and you think about it, they're they're progressing pretty well, even yeah. with Tyrion coming in through the side. And just to think about it, that that's like half his fleet only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> due to that wildfire. Yeah, yeah that was pretty. That's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, this is for a TV show, this is big budget. You know, yeah. before this, uh, I thought it was kind of like you know, like it's a soap opera TV right. show, but. This episode alone shows me, you know, it's a lot of money going to this. Just that scene in terms of the big explosion and you can just see the fire just as it spreads out, destroys more boats and more ships and it just keeps going and going and he lost a lot of people and we don't know what happened to Davos. Yeah. We don't know, well, his son, uh, his got son blasted. blasted too. So, I mean, I don't know how you can survive that sort of blast. But. I think Tyrion felt confident about his plan, but I think part of him was unsure how many men he actually had. So in his head, he's like, hey, We'll knock out some of their ships, but after that, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it was a good start. But I think start. You, you mentioned, like, I don't think he knew how effective that was yeah. going to be. Yeah. When I saw it, I'm like, man, I didn't think it would be, like, yeah, so big. It's crazy. His, he was pretty surprised how, how devastated that the bomb was. And, and remember, Bronn is the one that shot the fire arrow to yeah. start the, the bomb. Uh, he has, like, of all the characters in Game of Thrones, he has a lot of kills right now. <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> Because I mean, then you see him down on the ground just killing people too. Yeah, that more yeah. kills. Yeah, it reminds me of Helm's Deep and Lord of the Ring and a little bit of Saving Part of Ryan's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just the cruelty of war, right? Yeah. People getting their head cut off and limbs chopped off. You know, before the actual war started, you had um, Cersei talking to the Meister, right? And she's getting this vial of uh, nightshade. Uh, what were your first impressions? Who do you think that was for? That's exactly what I asked myself. I'm like, who that for? So I compiled a list, and I'm like, oh, all these people she could kill. But I'm like, you know what? Once she started talking with the girls, it clicked in my head. I'm like, yeah, she doesn't want to have Stannis show up on her doorstep and take her, and you know, mm -hmm. he, maybe he knows her some secrets she has or whatever. And she's like, I'd rather kill myself than for them to know. Not just herself, her so, family. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm wondering if... She was taking the easy way out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I told myself. Yeah. But it's not just she taking the easy... She was taking the extra easy route because she put all those women in that room with... Oh. Yeah, that beheads people, right? Yeah. 
And he was going to kill all of them so that they don't get raped, which is considerate of her, but she put him in with a guy, like a butcher. Right, right, right. And she gets to just take the poison and just... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And something that clicked in my head, uh, before I didn't pay much attention to Shay, I mean, we kept questioning in the previous episodes, like, ah, what's her role, what's it going But now I'm starting to see she has a little bit of depth. She had a plan. She had to have had a plan. But I'm asking myself that there's no way she could have known that the hound would be in her room because the hound just retreated because he saw the fire. You're talking about Sansa. Right, Sansa. Okay. But the, the, she told her, go to your room, close the door. And then when Stannis comes, he's not going to okay. kill you. But there's no way she could have known the hound was there. But it kind of found a place. And he's like, hey, uh, yeah, she, I'll take okay. you out protection. I'm like, so you think it was, uh, you don't, it was I, her plan you don't that, think it's to, to set up hound to go in there? I thought that, but I'm like, no, because the hound saw the fire and then he ran back in. He's yeah. So that's why I was like... So it's just coincidence. Coincidence, right? But I'm like, ah, oh, that it doesn't... But she... Oh, since you brought it up, what do you think of Sansa's choice of, of, of not going with the hound? Yeah, well, I was really hoping she goes with the hound. But it makes sense that... See, here's the thing, like... Uh, I like how they portray Stannis in King's Landing. Like, everybody's spreading the word, hey, Stannis is going to go in here, he's going to kill everybody... His men is gonna, you know, rape everyone, but I don't think that's the case, based on what how, what we know about Stannis. I think he's very honorable. He he would not do that. He would probably hang all the Lannisters because of the betrayal of Ned Stark and so on, right? I don't think he would, you know, uh, massacre everybody, right? Uh, because that's his people as well. Right? I don't think he'll massacre everybody, but I do think his men will probably definitely have their mm-hmm. fun with the women there. Well, it depends on his rule, his law, right? Does he allow that or not? Uh, and I personally don't think he would. So it's just funny how, you know, uh, one side portrayed the other side, right? Oh, <laughs> you know, you should be scared of the enemy and so on. Right. So it's, I see that going on a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, Stannis' speech was like, let's take this place, you know? Mm-hmm. Let's take it back, which means, like, go up to the point where they surrender, and then that's it, you know? Yeah. He wasn't talking about, you know... Even before that... Well, before the they actually made it to land, right? But, yeah. And he lost like all his men, or well, not all his men, but like a good portion of them on those due to the wildfire. His men's like, oh well, we're gonna lose hundreds of people mm-hmm. just getting to shore. He's like, no, thousands. Yeah. He's already expecting a big worn out battle, gonna lose a lot of people, but he's yeah. still all gun ho for it. But, but yeah. you can see how desperate he wants, right? Yeah. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, <laughs> the, we're here. Disposable. The, the rock hit his thing, and he's like, all right, let's go. Yeah, to me, the most important part of the episode that really resonated with me was when the Hound was talking to... Oh, yeah. to uh, Joffrey? No, the Hound was... <laughs> yeah, Sansa? Fine. When the Hound was talking to Sansa, he said something really poignant. He's like, hey, reality check. I'm a killer. Your dad's a killer. This guy's a killer. Your brothers, your sons, we're all killers. This is what we do. This is This is part of it. So if you can't face it, then you need to... You know, it's kind of a reality check for yeah. her. And because I, I feel maybe like the hound's just watching her and she's so passive about all these things that are happening around her. But he, she, Sansa also said that, uh, you're not going to hurt me. You right, know? she knows that, yeah. yeah. I mean, and he so, protected her. The... But I think she's aware that people are killers. It's just mm-hmm. that some are, some have some sort of compassionate or some sort of honorability to the people that they kill. Yeah, that's a different side of the hound that uh, we're starting to see. And we, we kind of like, expecting it we're looking yeah. for it i mean he's 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 stubborn he's a hard-headed guy but <laughs> but we, we i think we sense some compassion in him from yeah. the beginning i mean there's some things that he i didn't agree with like when he killed the butcher's son right, right. at the very beginning and that's some sort of darkness to him yeah. too uh, but he's kind of growing yeah. <laughs> like, like when do you forgive him for yeah. that right uh, me yeah. not yet but yeah. i'm seeing it i was he was yeah. like I'll take you to the north, uh, right. where you know John is. I'll and there's take you no to fire. Winterfell, yeah. <laughs> you know? There's no fire. Yeah. So. I think that was <laughs> that's probably the biggest thing, right? <laughs> like his main fire. Yeah, that too. I uh, happen to be going to the north. Do you want to go? So, so it's but, possible he, he's thinking of her and and wants to rescue her, right? But at the end of that scene, they don't actually. Sh- I mean, they show that he leaves, right? But they mm-hmm. don't show that she changes her mind because she doesn't respond back. She just well, sits yeah. there. Yeah, yeah I, I understand she, on her side. Her, she knows that Stan is probably not going to do anything to her. She probably is going to regret it since Stannis didn't win, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> She's going to like, what? Stannis yeah, didn't I, win? Yeah, I was really hoping she yeah. just goes with him, but... Uh, now she's stuck in that same situation. She's very strong during this whole time. You know, she rallied the woman, say, hey, we should sing a song. You know, 
so we can get over this. Joffrey's outside fighting. I don't know where Joffrey's during that time. It was interesting um, like, how he retreated. It's like, is it urgent? Does my mom really need me? <laughs> when they cut to that yeah. scene at the throne, I thought, oh, sh don't tell me uh, Joffrey's sitting on his mom's lap. I'm like, <laughs> I, I love how uh, Game of Thrones portrayed this character, you know, yeah. a blot and prince. You know, you expect him to be the main character and, and brave, but in reality, it's, it's, it's actually Tyrion who's brave in leading the men to, yeah. to attack. Yeah. Right? And, you know, Tyrion's on two kills. He's got yeah. two kills. <laughs> he, goes he, had to, he had to wind up for the second one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you think about the interaction between um, Bronn and the Hound? I feel like that's a camaraderie, you know? It's kind of like, hey man, you know, we're in the same field of work or whatever. And same kind of thing. And it's like, I respect you, you respect me. You know, stay in your lane. Keep, you know, we're not here to fight each other, basically. But think, it's like, here you go, a tip to the hat, you know, as they I say. I think I sense the opposite of that, actually. Yeah. Like, the Hound looks like he kind of despised Bronn. And Bronn is like, you know, we are the same. We're, we're both fighters, you know. And Bronn is not going to run away from the fight, pretty much. No. He'll, he'll, he'll fight if he has to, right? So, and it's really dangerous to see these characters you know, next to each other, because you don't know how it's going to end. Uh, One right. of them will die, you know, if they do fight. Luckily, it was interrupted. We like both characters. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I got the same thing. I was feeling more like these... Well, for the Hound, it seems like he doesn't like Bron. Bron could really not care. Yeah, Bron, I get this chummy feeling like, hey, just, you know, go with the flow, have fun. Kind of aligned with Tyrion's yeah. character, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh... Uh, what's his name? The Hound is like, screw everybody. He's kind of like a mercenary. Reminds mm -hmm. me of those movies where the guy goes off on his own. Yeah, yeah but it, so. I think he makes a good point too, right? Where he was telling Brown, we're the same person. I'm just bigger than you. Yeah. You like to exactly. kill people. Yeah. You like uh, to kill people, so don't try to hide it. Yeah, yeah. I hope Tyrion's not dead. I hope it was just a face cut and but then he's taking a nap. You recognize who attacked him? Because uh, he was, was his own guy. It was the... Yeah, pretty much. It was the own guy. The it was knight, the Lannister the, armor, yeah. The Lannister... Which that one was like... it? No, we know who it was. It was the side of T Tyron. The guy with Tyron. Because I recognized the helmet from when uh, Arya was... Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. It could be the mountain. Yes, that's my, who might be it is. But, you know, they changed the mountain actor so many times. It, I lost track of who's the mountain. Yeah. The, yeah, the armor was... I recognized the helmet because she was pouring and I was like, man, that's an interesting looking... It's a Lannister uh, yeah, armor. Yeah, yeah, the Lannister armor. But, yeah. No, Someone's I thought the same thing. Him, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing. I'm like, wait, uh, it can't really be... They're not going to kill him. He's yeah. eating the whole thing. Yeah, why, right? Yeah. But, but at this point, the tide was turning. Yeah. Uh, right after that, yeah. that time when came, Loras showed up. So... So we found out, you know, the Tywell sided with uh, the Lannisters. Yeah. And, you know, and I think we mentioned this too, that we thought that uh, in the previous episode, we thought he was going to, or Tywin was going to be going to attack Ron. Right, right, right. And yeah. Much go defend uh, King's Landing. See, I didn't memorize all the flags, but I'm like, somebody else has shown up because I saw the, like, the blue, two flags. blue and the white flags. And then now, the, and then the red ones were from the... And I was like, oh, somebody else is here, but I couldn't figure out who it was. And then, bam, it made sense right yeah. after that. Just so in time, too. Yeah, so surprising. You know, Cersei, um, Lena uh, Headley, such a good actress. She's, she's in a lot of movies that I love, and I love when Cersei's drunk. Drunk Cersei, <laughs> oh, it's okay. She gives really good advice yeah. to Sansa. I mean, uh, you know, use your best weapon. You know, uh, very very logical uh, advice, and I feel like they could be a good mother and daughter. It kind of crooked way, but they yeah. could be. I, I sense it could, right? She she gives a very uh, reality advice. Well, I think for her, it's one of those things that you're at the kind of the end of the rope, right? Mm -hmm. You're pretty much expecting to probably die. Mm -hmm. I am preparing for that, so there's no no reason to sugarcoat stuff right. or hide things away so just tell her how it is and I think that's what she's doing now and the yeah. alcohol is just kind of helping with it <laughs> to forget about well when she was talking to Tomlin kind of like you're going to be the king I'm like she's going to finish this speech and then shoot the little shot thing and then take an eternal yeah. nap right yeah, yeah a couple more seconds and it would have been all over for them mm -hmm. too right but it looked like she was going to give it to him and her I don't know the way they were portraying she likely I'm, I'm assuming give it to him first and, and then her. Yeah. That's what I thought. Well, I don't think she'll give it to herself yet until she gets to Joffrey. 
to Joffrey. I think she was ready to. I, I think I, she was I, doing it right I think there. She gave up Joffrey. I don't even know where Joffrey is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Joffrey and is either. Definitely, but, uh, she probably could, can't kill Joffrey I, anyway. Yeah. I mean, she, she's gonna give it to Tomlin. I would assume that she's gonna try and give it to Joffrey just because. Dude, I don't. I think if, she, if somebody think captured she, Joffrey, yeah. what they would do to that guy? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knows <laughs> they're gonna kill him. Well, yeah, at that point. yeah, for sure. But what? yeah, but the whole point is that she wants to avoid any, any brutality. Yeah, but yeah. I think at that point she was ready to go because she can sense that there are people outside of the 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 hall. The hall. You know, they're approaching. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, definitely. But, if it came down to it, and yeah. she's like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna down this. But yeah, if, yeah. I think if she had the opportunity to do it, it's Tomlin first. Let me find Joffrey. Get Joffrey. Down Joffrey there. wouldn't. I don't know. I don't think Joffrey would. I would you know drink it right? He's like, oh, I'm not gonna die. I think she assumed he. But was I dead. don't think they know because what, they, can, what they're drinking. Yeah. Yeah. It's actual poison. He but, came back and he yeah. told him that hey, they've taken the wall. They're in, infiltrating the thing. She's like, he's probably dead. And uh, the story that she was telling Tolman was about you know how how the line is Better. should be the ruler of of all the houses, right? Mm -hmm. Right. The stag, the Baratheon, and the uh, the wolves. They all should all bow to the line. Yeah, that's why I was confused. I'm like, why is she telling him all this? And then she's going to give him the stuff. And I'm like, it's like, that's how I was like, that didn't make sense. Like, I thought it was just going to be she tells him the story and then she does it. And then he keeps that in his mind, right? So um, as he grows no, up. No, I think it's one of those, like, like let me. Yeah, space suicide. Yeah. <laughs> let me ease your, uh, your mind with a good story about how we are supposed to be ruling. <laughs> yeah. And we will be ruling. It's kind of like keeping that facade that yes, we're gonna win this war yeah, or this yeah. battle. Just, just in another second, she would be gone. I think. Yeah, like my biggest takeaway. I really hope Tyrion's not dead. You know, I want more. I guess we want. Yeah. I want more. You no, know, for me, but, it, I'm all like, I like Tom, man. He seems like a good character, especially when they were one of the previous episodes. They're at that dinner table, right? Uh -huh. And Cersei's giving Sansa all kinds of shit at the dinner table, but like, uh, he was like, yeah, I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Them to kill the brother or some other stuff, right? And so yeah. you can see that he has a much nicer heart than his yeah. than yeah. his brother. But yeah, dude, I enjoyed the episode. Great uh, battle scene. We didn't get to see any of the other things going on, which is out. <laughs> I don't regret. I enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, I love how uh, the hounds like, uh, you know, fuck the king. <laughs> He's like, oh man. Yeah. So Joffrey's like, yeah. What do you say? <laughs> he couldn't say anything. He's yeah. like, "What?" The so if Brienne is taking Jamie back, and Jamie and I mean, if Tyrion is survives, and if all the Lannisters will be at the King's Landing, if he makes, I mean, I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, this is starting to look like a like a family reunion, <laughs> something like <laughs> that. So, wow. Yeah. You know, each episode, I, I start to really understand where Cersei's come from. She explained, you know, how her father treated her like a commodity, betrayed it, and treated her brother like a prince. Uh, he's going to inherit everything while she gets, gets traded around. Yeah, she gave the reality to her. She's like, the only thing, weapon, your biggest weapon is what you have between your legs. So. Yeah. We just saw Outlaw King, and this episode came way before Outlaw King, and uh, you can kind of see some inspiration that Outlaw King got from. Before this, I mean, pretty much the closest. Well, Stannis was an Outlaw King. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Stannis was an Outlaw King. The original King. Outlaw King. Yeah. No, I, he was actually a king. I definitely like the whole aspect of flanking and then it's like... Yeah. Uh, it's all caught up by some man. It's yeah, the yeah. siege. Oh, I love this. And siege. they showed all the different like medieval weapons and yeah. how they threw rocks and then the arrows and then... Uh, it was just enjoyable, like, yeah. how it played out, right? And so. I love how Stannis just, I'm going to be the first one <laughs> up the ladder, first one off the boat. That's how, you know, uh, you should lead your men to battle uh, compared to Joffrey. Yeah, right? it's yeah. Uh, definitely a whole 180, right? right yeah. Right. <laughs> Stannis definitely taking the charge and Joffrey kind of sitting in the back seat yeah. and hiding. Yeah, I, I would really love to see Tyrion come out of this alive. He's going to have so much respect now because he, he fulfilled the one aspect in his life that everyone lowers his value on, mm -hmm. is that you're not a fighter, you're not a this, you know? 
And then all those men saw how he did that before well, his dad. So you goes. know when he flanked, right? <laughs> you get the whole flank, and then all of a sudden you just said, like, "Bam!" Cuts that dude's leg off. <laughs> I love what he said. Like yeah. we're gonna go behind him and uh, you know fuck him up the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that's exactly what he did. He knows the the route uh, underneath the castle. He goes uh, behind him, right? And good thing that kid uh, saw where he was at. Otherwise, he couldn't have saved. It, you know. Oh yeah, uh, gotten the the Lannister. And guy. that's surprising too, right? That kid. That's what I like, said. I'm like, like, he got that big guy in the armor. I'm like, how? So, oh, who who saved him? It was the his, guy who uh, said, squire. "Do you his trust squire. the guy oh, putting yeah. on the uh, forgot, armor from his squire save him?" Yeah. 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 So we'll and see. so maybe Braun is out of work. <laughs> no. And but we said it. We thought it was a Lannister, right? That might have cut him in the face. Well, I, I I really saw the Lannister armor, the guy that cut him. Because I looked at him, I'm like, oh, why is that guy attacking Tyrion? Because they looked at each other, kind of, and then he's like, you know. Yeah. Who's after Tyrion, pretty right. much? Who's kind betraying of, Tyrion? Tyrion <laughs> is now in the position that uh, Bronn was, uh, not Bronn, what's his name? Uh, Bran was in the first season <laughs> where he fell off the thing and he's like, who did this to you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you gonna remember? Lose, oh, you think he's going to lose his memory? <laughs> No, no, I mean, yeah, so it's like uh, he's going to solve the mystery there. Well, that guy's face probably not noticeable anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no way he yeah. died. So it's already done. All right, guys, thank you for joining us. Another episode, great episode, episode 9. Uh, we're going to do 10 soon uh, after this. Thank you for joining us. See you guys. Take care. Seems like every season, episode 9 is the one to watch, huh? The build up.